Welcome to my incredible life. I'm gonna fill my clothes with balloons and then roll down that hill and see if I can pop them all. How are you feeling? Pretty confident. I would say 12 on a one to 10 scale. Any, any final thoughts before? Ah, oh, one popped already. <laughs> oh my God, that was scary. Wait, they're all gonna explode. This one's so close to my face. Yeah, I'm kinda of worried about that one. No, you'll be fine. Nothing could go wrong. All right, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got one running away. I'm gonna do it again. Let's we'll see how this one goes. Woo! <laughs> nice. <laughs> that looks sick. Unstoppable. A force to be reckoned with. <laughs> it's like fighting yourself. It's like. It's so challenging and beautiful, <laughs> but it's also destructive. <laughs> what a beautiful balance. That was actually really poetic. Wow. Today, I'm gonna be telling you the story about the time Michael impaled himself on a fence. It's true, it happened. When I was a first year in college, we had this event called the Nearly Naked Run. As I was walking past this parking lot, someone needed help changing their tire. And so I was like, all right, cool. I'll just jump over this fence really quick and help them change the tire. And as I get on top of the fence, I slip and then head straight first into the ground. I'm definitely going through shock at this point. And so I'm like trying to pull myself off and one of my friends is like, stop, don't do that. And I was like, okay, fine. I just like, am I like, is my leg on the fence? This is so embarrassing. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> then all of a sudden like police and like the fire department show up and I keep hearing them say things that are like just not good about my leg. I'm actually, I'm upside down on this fence. I've got a couple of my friends holding my legs and then they're like, okay, we're gonna have to saw the fence. So I'm lying on a hospital bed in an ambulance with fencing on top of me. I get to the hospital and they're like, okay, cool. We're gonna have to do like emergency surgery, whatever. And then I start talking to like, <laughs> they're, like they're like, they're like, okay, great. <laughs> and I asked them, I was like, hey, before or like after surgery, can I keep the fence? And they were like, no, 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 there's no way. Yeah, it was like the all the way, like it was the whole, all of that was just in my thigh. I don't think it was bent like this before. I have pulled up an article in the college newspaper called Nearly Naked and Impaled. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to take some time to talk about some of the quotes in the newspaper article. You haven't seen this in like years, right? No, this, no, I haven't. All right, we just need to go over this. Did Erica write this? Thanks, Erica. First quote it credits you with, <laughs> you saying, I guess I was jacked up on a combination of shock endorphins. <laughs> what, what is a shock endorphin? You know, that's a, that's a hard question to answer. I'm, I'm not really sure what I was talking about. <laughs> you said, as I was getting carted off, I yelled out for someone to help the lady who was still having problems with her car. I was kind of out of the question, you know, since my leg had just gotten impaled. <laughs> because it does make it hard to help someone when you're getting helped yourself. It's true, it's true. You told the paramedics that your pain on a scale of one to 10 was only a two or three. Is that what I said? <laughs> I said it was a two or you three. You said it was a two or three, but they, they insisted on providing you with painkillers immediately. Do you remember that? I do remember that, yeah. They were like, you, you're, we're gonna give you something for that. And I was like, <laughs> you had a fence in your leg and you said your pain was a two or three. Bro, I, I had all the shock endorphins. I don't know. <laughs> it says you and your doctor decided that a three horned unicorn stabbed you and lost one of its horns. I don't know why it would be called a unicorn if it had three horns. <laughs> It says you return to school mm -hmm. the next day carrying the spike as a trophy. Yeah, I'm number one, baby. <laughs> you had great support from your mother and younger brother. It says that grandma made a pair of pajamas with one leg cut shorter in order to allow for easy access to put the gauze in. This is, this is my favorite quote of the whole article is the end. Uh -huh. <laughs> I tried to get the doctor to say that the reason I had survived was because of my thunder thighs. That fence is lucky it missed my cankles. It wouldn't have made it through them. You ever said that? <laughs> If you want to read the full article, check it out in the description below. Thank you again, Erica, for taking an interest in my most ridiculous story to date. <laughs> we are reviewing different food items that we had when we were kids. I probably haven't tried most of them in 10 years. Like you can't just... I'm so hungry. Like... <laughs> We're gonna give each food item a zero to five ranking. A zero is, oh my God, this is so sweet. How could I have ever possibly eaten this? And a five is, I'm going to now reintroduce this into my everyday diet. I love it so much. Is that fruit punch? <laughs> no, no. No, 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 no. I just want to see it for a second. We're starting with uh, McDonald's Kids Box. Is that what it's called? A Happy Meal? 
<laughs> McDonald's We're starting with, box? <laughs> with the Happy Meal. Are you an artificial intelligence robot? <laughs> what the heck was that? Oh, I'm gonna start. This is a five. We got toys. I have an inside out doll. Was this just an excuse for us to eat McDonald's? Yep. All right, so next up, we're gonna try the Capri Sun Kiwi Strawberry. Let's see how this goes. All right, so when I was drinking these, they had like cool extreme sports things on the front of them. Now it's just like fresh fruit and berries. Do you ever like get the off-brand ones and then you have to stab it through and it stabbed through both? Do you remember that? This is so good. I'm sorry. Yes, I do remember those. You'd go to drink it and then you'd be like, and then it'll just air, be... <laughs> and then it was like, oh. I'm gonna give this a 3.5. I give Capri Sun five out of five. <laughs> I think it was user air. We didn't refrigerate it. I think they're really good. <laughs> we have Crips up next. How are you eating them? With? It's really difficult to know how to eat these. I don't know if you're supposed to pop them in one at a time or yeah. do the whole thing, and then I just did the whole thing, and now it was like cheese it overload. I give it probably like a five out of five. <laughs> I didn't love it, but it makes me nostalgic, you know? I give it like a one. I feel like the cheese dusting's a little too much. <laughs> it's a lot. It's just kind of like a cheese explosion. Mm. I also never really got into grips. Mm -mm, I don't really either. miss them. Now we're gonna try Pop Rocks Cherry Flavor for our palate cleanser. Bobby, dude. It's like a 15 out of five. Up next, we have the variety pack. Yeah, remember this commercial and they'd be doing the cool stuff with their head. How are you supposed to eat these? I don't know. I'll give it a five out of five. I also give this a five out of five because even though I've been feeling strange about eating the whole thing, I literally cannot stop. Wow, that's really good. If you have any other suggestions for things you want us to try, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Mm -hmm.